Are you tired of carrying your very heavy luggage all the way to the check-in counter of the airport? Why not relax? Bring your luggage to the train station using free shuttle bus service and then the train station will take charge of checking in your luggage anytime you want and then you will also get your boarding pass in advance anytime you want after which you can roam around do anything you want just make sure that you will arrive at the airport in time for your flight want to know more watch this video After our tour of Hong Kong, it's sad to say that we finally have to say goodbye. This is added to the fact that we have to check out of our hotel at 12 p.m. noon time while our flight is still the next day at 2 a.m. This is not a good itinerary as we will remain idle with our luggage hanging around with us wherever we go. Don't worry. Be happy. Our problem has been solved. With this win-win solution, we can even start very early or leave the hotel in advance. We simply have to buy Hong Kong Airport Express train tickets from the Kowloon Station and use it to travel to the Hong Kong International Airport. First, we have to wait for the Hong Kong Airport Express free shuttle bus at its designated stop. We can find this stop by using the MTR mobile app which we can use to search for nearby shuttle bus and routes. Just select Airport Express and select Free Airport Express Shuttle Bus within the app. This service is available from 0615 hours or 615 am to 2300 hours or 11 pm at night. Before boarding the free shuttle bus, we may have to present to the Airport Express shuttle bus driver any of the following. A valid Airport Express ticket, airline ticket or boarding pass valid for the same day, or an Airport Express ticket voucher. Our free shuttle bus has finally arrived at the Holiday Inn Golden Mile and so now we have to be on board. This bus will go through all the designated stops which in our case are the designated stops for shuttle bus K3 until finally it will reach our final destination which is the Kowloon Station. This service is available for both the Kowloon Station and the Hong Kong Station. Highest Regency, Hong Kong, Chim Sha Choi, Highest Regency, Hong Kong, Chim Sha Choi. Next stop, Regal Kowloon Hotel. We finally made it to the Kowloon Station. According to plan, we will first buy our Hong Kong Airport Express train tickets at the Customer Service Center. This is to avail our discounted price of 150 Hong Kong dollars 
for two Airport Express train tickets. After buying our Airport Express train tickets, we proceeded to what is called the in-town check-in counters of the Kowloon station. We go inside the in-town check-in counters by tapping our Airport Express train tickets or octopus cards just as if we are entering the ticket gates of the train station. Take note that the full fare will be deducted at the in-town check-in entry gate. However, no further charge will be made at the platform entry gate. That means that once you enter the in-town check-in counter, it is understood that we will also board the Hong Kong Airport Express train. The in-town check-in counters allows passengers to check in their luggage at the check-in counters located at the Kowloon station as much as a day ahead of time. This service allows passengers to take a train to the airport without the burden of carrying their luggage to the airport. Aside from that, you can also collect your boarding pass between 90 minutes and one full day ahead of your scheduled flight departure time. The only drawback here is that not all airlines are included in the check-in counters. For example, for the Philippines, only Philippine Airlines have a check-in counter here at the Kowloon station as of this time. I hope that other airlines would also avail of this service. Now that we have checked in our luggage and got our boarding pass, we can now go anywhere we want. Theoretically, if we have lots of time and money left, we can even go to Disneyland Resort Hong Kong as we are already inside the Kowloon station where we can ride the Tung Chung Line which connects to the Disneyland Resort Line. However, we should also make sure that we have enough time to catch our flight. The Kowloon Station is actually also a shopping mall. Let us go around and see what else is inside the Kowloon Station. It is now time to board our Airport Express train. We can go there by using the escalator or elevator going down to the train platforms. Take note that the last train will leave the Kowloon station at a little past 12 midnight. After that, the next train will leave the following day at almost 6 am. We finally arrived at Terminal 1 of the Hong Kong International Airport. You can also proceed 
to Terminal 2 from this airport train station on the other side. Just follow the sign boards. Terminal 1, we don't have to go to the check-in counters as our luggage was already checked in at the Kowloon station and we also have our boarding pass. We still arrived early so we have to wait for the posting of our departure boarding gate at the flight information display. Now we have to go down to the arrival area to return our octopus cards at the Airport Express ticket counter. Upon returning our octopus cards, we will get back our deposit of 50 Hong Kong dollars for each card and also a portion of the remaining balance of our octopus cards. We finally got our departure boarding gate posted on the flight information display so we went through immigration and are now on our way to our departure boarding gate. It is a good practice to remove all watches, belts, rings, necklace or anything detectable by an electronic detector and put it inside your bag before going through immigration so you will not waste time removing it at the immigration for security inspection. Now we will ride the driverless automated people mover. This train is used to transport people from one side of the airport to the other side so we don't have to walk long distances. In this case, it will take us closer to our departure boarding gate. Take note of the number of your departure boarding gate and listen carefully to the announcement as there are two stops along the way. In our case, we will get down at the second and last stop. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button so that you will be notified on the next videos which I will post in this channel.